kid comes in, you know, they're depressed, they're sad, they're angry, family issues, we'll work with you, we'll see you, there's not going to be any judgment, we'll treat you with respect, we'll treat you with dignity, uh, we feel passionate about working with you, come on in and, and we'll help. I'm impressed with the how the doctors are trained here, it's very... Um, comprehensive and detailed what they actually ask even just in a physical. A lot of the screening questions I think a lot of doctors and won't, wouldn't really ask and that, like around sexual abuse, child abuse, how are you doing in school and the doctors actually um, are can pick up on like you know what I don't think this is about a sore throat I don't think it's like you know you have a stomach ache from eating something bad it looks like you're going through a lot and so the doctors are really great to actually then you know why don't you talk to one of our social workers or um, I'll, I'll tell the kid if I'm in a therapy session, you know what, I, I don't think this is about therapy. I think you need to see the doctor. Um, do you mind if um, uh, we talk to the doctor you saw before and follow up on that? In terms of, of services, we do family, we do individual, we do group counseling. Uh, we work with kids who have depression issues, we work with kids who have family relationship issues, who have education issues, um, working with kids who have issues relating to their gender. Uh, we support kids who are gay, who are lesbian. We support kids who are transgendered, whether they're going from male to female, female to male. We work with their families as well in terms of providing education and awareness and support. We're your surrogate family. You walk in here and you feel like you're one of you're one of the family, you're a family member. There's a huge range of issues that come up here and I think, I, I have to admit, even after being here almost 10 years, there's always something new. But yeah, I w dealt with teen pregnancy, crazy new waves of sexual violence because of social media, dealing with really difficult conversations with families, you know, whether disclosing about a sexual abuse, that the child has been hiding for all these years. I've worked with parents too, where getting them in their own therapy um, because it's getting in the way of actually being an effective parent. Even though they've gone through all these really horrible stuff, I think my goal is to just remember to help them make them laugh and still remember they're still a kid and they should still be enjoying life. If we didn't believe that kids are resilient, that they could bounce back from some of the things that they have gone through. We wouldn't be doing this work or putting so much effort and energy into doing this work.